Daddy, you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. Yo, it's E uh, with my pair, you know. Old block, drug T Roy, city of hat. E dog, what you on, gang? See, I'm cool and trying to check check how you coming. Man, uh, well, first of all, welcome to DJ UTV. It's definitely a pleasure to have what they call uh the most iconic person out of O Block on our couch tonight. Can't make it up. Man, let the folks know who you got on the couch with you, though. I got in the doorway. Y'all should have known his name, though. I'm always in the doorway. You see it? Got my big buzz. I ain't don't know nothing about it, though. <laughs> don't know nothing about it. Word. Well, welcome to DJ UTV, man. Like I said, it's definitely a blessing to have you, you know? You know? Uh, you know, for some reason, and the reason we want to get to tonight, you know, you one of the fan favorite. You know what I'm saying? Like... They love E Dog, you know what I'm saying? Sure. And due to the fact that this is your first interview ever, this a classic already. Solid, you already know. Colossa. So so yeah, that's what we gonna do tonight, you know? Shit colossal, man. So let's start off with uh where you from, E Dog? You know, uh, City Public King Drive, Far Away Guard, you know? Yeah. Y'all yeah, should know that. That's what it's 64 called. 64 to 65th, like yeah. Not 63rd, though. Because <laughs> it is a 63rd that can't drive that's part of O Block, right? Yeah, they get on the train right there, that shit. They be getting on the train. There's a train station right there. Green Line? Yeah. 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 Not yeah. Mm. <laughs> Ain't nothing right there but a train station right there. Right, right. So. But tell us what it was like for you growing up in O Block. Shit. You just had to be you. You just had to grow up to be you. Everybody started from being a goofy, being a lame. You just had to figure you out, you know? Just make it make sense. Stay solid. You been to O-Block your whole life? Hell yeah. Really? Yeah. Like yeah. born and raised? Elementary school. Really? Yes, yeah, sir. So you went to Dallas? Yeah. 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 Second grade, graduated. Yeah. OG status. Who 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 else from um the sh shot right drill culture that you go to Dallas with? Shit. You don't really nobody though. You don't really nobody. My era right now. Okay. Baby room started rapping. And we don't really nobody in my era right now. We were just all, you know, big big guys, no little fellas. Yeah. Stuff like that. Okay. Well, tell us around what age that you, you know, jump off the porch and start hanging out in the streets. Shit. Like 08, 07, when I, when I realized it. And right when my sister, baby daddy died, R.P. Carlos. I don't understand the life when he died. That's when I understand street shit. He died from a violent crime. So shit, that's when I understand life right there. Word. You say your sister, baby, daddy. Yeah, well, I understand it was real. So, so y'all had a relationship like y'all was friends. Yeah, yeah, that's my big brother. Word. Yeah, yeah. He died day after his birthday, so that shit made me, you know, I was like, damn, that shit used to be on my mind. Like, damn, you know, Kyle was dead. You know, like how you get a girl pregnant, like, damn, she pregnant. You know, shit like that. So that's my first experience. Like, damn, my would have died. Right. You know. How old were you at that point? Shit, I had to be a good like 13, 14, still in grammar school and shit. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he was living with me type shit. Like, being okay. Brother. You know, fights everything, but you know, so he died day after his birthday. You know, so I understand like, damn, life for real. That's when I really understand life. I understand gun violence, shit like that. Work. Um, so you mentioned your sister and you say your baby daddy was living with y'all. So I want to ask you about your My baby daddy. No, I mean, her I baby daddy. I'm sorry, gang. Story, guys. She fucked up. Hey, but what I want to ask, though, uh, what, what, what was your household like as far as uh, both parents, siblings, stuff like that? Yeah, for sure. You know? Sure, you sure. had both parents? For sure. Okay. And how many siblings did you I have? I picked this. You said what? And I picked this shit. You picked what? I picked this, whatever, you know, I picked this shit. It wasn't, it you know, choose on me. I could have went the, the, the white boy route, you know? Okay. 
So you saying you could have you could have went to school and got straight A's? Yeah, you know I just was around you know my brothers that I really appreciate. So what you saying is you had a decent upbringing and then you decided to? No, I ain't no decide. I was just around it, and I'm like shit. It's the business. I could have been going. I could have been going to school in the suburbs and coming back here to the summer. I would still been involved because that's my brother don't love me. They wouldn't ever forget about me. Shit like that. Yeah. I picked this shit. Yeah. So it was your sister's baby daddy death that made you pick this shit. What no, that made me understand life. Okay. So what made you pick this shit then? I just told you. I just told you that. I just told you my brother's around me that, okay. you know? I so they was back, doing it. Just go back to what I said. I could have went to the suburbs mm -hmm. and came back for the summer and right. still been the same way. Right. You know what I'm saying? I did this to make it make sense. It wasn't no peer pressure or nothing. Ain't nobody peer pressure me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My brothers wasn't doing this shit. Just be, oh, they doing this shit. Oh, I don't want to do this shit. I chose this shit. You know, it wasn't no bad thing or a good thing. It just made sense. You know? Did you ever get picked on when you was growing up for being like the light skinned nigga in the hood? You trolling that. I'm asking. You trolling. <laughs> it's about respect and listening. You know, it ain't about being who, you know, because I got all these marbles, all that. It's about I respect people and listen to people. But shit, I get the same treatment back. Yeah. That's why, I'm, you know, shit like that. Yeah. You know that. Now, when we, you know, do our research on E Dog, you know, your name is mentioned in Hella King Von songs. Yeah. You know true. what I'm saying? That's my baby brother, my love brother. The, the biggest, though, you know, he the biggest Perry. We yeah. got a big Perry. A bigger Perry, but they call me Big Perry. We got a bigger Perry. We ain't gonna put you on him. But he the biggest. He the biggest Perry. He the biggest you know? Perry. The world I know about him. Yeah. You know, we got a bigger Perry. You don't know him, though. But we got Big Perry like me, but we got the biggest. He the biggest. Yeah. You know? Hey, can you break down your lingo for me, though? Tell me what a Perry is. A Perry is like one of our brothers. He went away, you know? And I was with him, tight, tight with him. But you the time you pass, you know? We talking about OD, right? Yeah, for sure. Ain't no secret. Phone, but ain't no secret, though. Y'all know his name is OD Perry, so, you know, I was with him tight, tight, tight. Mm -hmm. I ain't going nowhere. Every time you come outside, you come and get me. You know? Me and my boy. Yeah. You don't even know him. Yeah. Call him OJ Simpson. You know? They still on the way, but that's my boy. You know, I was talking about, but yeah, I was with O.D. Perry for the time. He passed and I was with him, walking in with him. So yeah, I got that. I stopped running with that because I'm a Perry. I run with his last name. So we all, you know, with the shit like that. Word. Um, so with O.D. Perry being the guy that you all named your neighborhood after, can you tell us what made him a standout in the hood, what made him so special, you know, due to the fact that you had to name the hood after he passed? Because he shit. He was the one that, you know, showed us some, um, showed us screwbacks, showed us Timberland, showed us he got license to a car, showed us driving nice Cadillac cars, showed us the ropes, though, you know? We went and some showed us the ropes, so we honored them. We cherished them. It was like that. Yeah. He showed us like that. This was going on, Jerry and stuff like that. So yeah, we on him like that. Right. So when I was looking at your, uh, you know, your rap sheet, you had a lot of uh, trespassing <laughs> charges. And one of the days you got arrested was like the the day or the night before O. D. Perry was killed. Correct. <laughs> you did your homework. I did my homework. Did August 10th, 2011. You did your money. Nah, you ain't fuck that. You ain't do your homework. You did your research. I did my, I did my little research. I fuck with you. So was you out by the time the situation happened or were you behind bars? Is what I was asking. Nah, I can't. I was just, just walking back from the station, shit like that. You was coming back from the station? Yeah, you know, I was walking back from the station. I got an eyeball on, shit like that. You know? Yeah. Came to, I thought I got caught with a gun. You know? I ain't thinking like, oh damn, that was a little crazy. You got caught with a hook, I got with a hook. And they broke it down, son. Shit like that. 
So I'm like, all right, that's the better thing. It's, it's different. It's not, it don't hit different. It's see, I see it as different. It don't hit different, I see it get different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, you know, you gotta go like that. That's how the world is set up. Uh, what made you like make the mistake of trespassing so many times? Because. <laughs> Hey, I ain't gonna lie, he got hella trespass. That's the problem. You got police that be on bullshit, man. Ain't way from in they area. Hey, King, you and King. Hey, look, y'all like King, y'all Lord. Hey, he did his research, King. I definitely did my little research. The trespass and shit was so like fluky, bro. Like, right, so can you please give an example? Is it an example? Because you got so, several. It was a breach of security. <laughs> it was like a breach of security. Like, you on a bar list, it was like, yeah, like a breach of security, blood. Like, I'm like, I was catching how I catch a trespass. You know, the 30 day lick. Like, you can't catch a case in another 30 day lick. I catch a case, gotta spend two weeks on, oh, man. It's at the time that I'm like, man, I ain't going outside no more, man. Because it was just the security guards, you know? It's a security company on me, stuff like that. It was like, I wasn't doing no wrong. I wasn't like, I don't know how shit is just like, you know, you don't so live sec- like her. Okay, right. So security is catching you in the- Like, you don't live her. Yeah, you know? Yeah. You don't live her. You buy from her. And we steady catch you. So I did all type of shit with them. I ran off with their handcuffs. Fuck them. They give me the hand. Oh, I did all type of shit. They come get me from the store, pick me up, get your ass here. So it's like, all right, man. So, uh, so that was when I was a kid, though. So it's like, you know, I ain't know no better to be like, oh, man, I'm fucking, you know? I ain't, you know, I was a kid and feel like, man, you know? That was fluky, breach of security at its time. On myself, though. It was a breach to myself. Word. Because mm-hmm. um, besides that, um, have you ever been arrested for like uh, an extended period of time? Like locked up for an extended period of time? Hell no. Right. Hell no. So like, what's the most time you ever, you know what I'm saying, sat behind like, bars two consecutively? Weeks. Two weeks? Two weeks. That's to impressive. To court come back out. To court come two weeks, I'm out there more. Yeah. Yeah, so. So, you know, when we look at you, E-Dog, you've been around since the start. Can you tell us how have you been able to stay away from Long jail time, and you know what I'm saying? God, like, God, I appreciate God, and He blessed me. And I, you know, I tell him my wrongs, and I got my brothers around me. I got a big support system, you know. They bless me too, they motivate me too. And I see them go through jail time or any little thing, you know. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and stuff like that, yeah. So when we do our little research on e Dog, we see a lot of pictures with him and King Von. We see a lot of pictures with him and Chief Keith. Mm-hmm. A lot of pictures with him and T. Roy. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? A lot of pictures with him and everybody that's mm-hmm. from O Block, period. You know? So when it comes to Chief Keith, King Von, T. Roy, can you tell us who you met first? Shit, both of them. They're my little brothers. Both of who? Both of them, my little brothers. I'm saying who like who you who did you meet first? Shit, both of them. I just named three niggas. Who? T. Roy. I said Sosa, Bond, and T. Roy. At the same time. All three of them at the same time? They're my jits. They're my little jits. Yeah. But they, you know, you know what I'm saying? I get shit from them, they get shit from me. You know what I'm saying? We even. Shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. So when you was growing up with Chief Keith, did you ever think that he'll become like the greatest or one of the greatest uh, rap artists of our generation? Yeah, yeah, got that DNA. Shaw got that DNA to be, you know. You know he got tough for the best. Me, my boy OJ Simpson, you know, he got tough for them type cats. So and shit, he can't he can't go wrong. Shit, he right or he right. When he wrong, when he wrong, he right. He just, he makes sense. He just makes sense, King. Word. So what, 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 what were some of the early signs that you saw, you know, that, that indicated this, this, this to my homie, but he fucking around to be a, a superstar? The love he showed me. Ain't about no superstar shit, just the love, the genuine love he, he oppressed to me, you know? 
like, you know, open to me. So he ain't got nothing to be, you know, I'm knowing he a superstar. I'm just knowing how he coming from me. And I'm like, yeah, he threw it or whatever, you know. I was at his first show, front stage, you know, just like the respect he got for me. So I'm like, shit, hey, he going to be that. Yeah. Because I'm putting game in his ear. He going to do it his way type shit. So, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, he fuck with the best of the best. Tell us about that first show. Where were y'all at? Show, you remember? At Adriana's. Adriana's? Yeah. I would tell my cousin was doing RP to my cousin, Bridgie, man, my cousin. Shit like that. He was at the Adriana's doing shit. And we was on one. Yeah. We played over East and all of us. We was doing it. Yeah. So, you know, when, uh, ap you know, shortly after Chief Keef gained, gained his nationwide success, he relocated, you know, not just from the O, but from Chicago, period. He moved period. all the way to L.A. Period. You period. know what I'm saying? Period. And he ain't been back to the O since. Period. I can, I can get him come, but they banned him from Chicago. He ain't want to go to jail. He ain't wrong. King ain't wrong. Yeah. I still talk to him on the phone. Really? Right I ain't talk, I talked to him on the phone less than two weeks. King know what's up with us. Yeah. He just, you know, he you know, he outgrew whatever he outgrew. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. I'm still fuck with King. Mm-hmm. That's what's up, man. Sure. I, I appreciate that response. I think that's the best response we got from somebody that For sure. you it's know. my little brother. Yeah. He know that. I can say that. Yeah. So according to Edo. Happy B-Day too, shout. Yeah, it was just his B-Day. Happy B-Day, Sosa. So according to E-Dog, Sosa still got love in the O. Yeah, yeah, he still got love for me, so that's love for us, you know? Yeah. When he got love for me, he got love for us, and I got love for him, so, you know, we gonna have love for him. That ain't nothing. For sure, for sure. Well, let's talk about the next superstar that came out of O Block, which was King Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> you made me drop my hand, King. Yeah. For real. Yeah, he was something like, you know? Vaughn Von was something different. How old were you when you first met Vaughn? I don't know. Cut. DJ, you go crazy!